Are you a terrible cook like I am? How the hell are these quesadillas made? It's like, it's like they get two tortillas and they put cheese in the middle and then... But how? Why is it pronounced tortilla if there's like two L's? We don't know either, okay? On this episode of How It's Made... Quesadillas. This video is sponsored by Adidas. Disclaimer, in my fucking dreams. Fucking NASA, man. They took a picture of another planet. <laughs> Here's what you do. You turn on the stove. Throw the tortilla on. Wait. And you wait. And you wait. And you flip with your fingers. Yes, your fingers. You gotta be willing to burn yourself for a quesadilla. Come on, you'll get used to it. Slap some cheese on top. Old milk. Oh my god, does it have gluten in it? Well, I appreciate that you are concerned about what you put in your body, but if you can't answer what gluten is, then you should... what is it? Do that five second Google search. And if you realize that you never had an allergic reaction before making the choice of eating non-gluten foods, then just shut the fuck up. You see that white stuff? Mmm, cheese. And then put another quesadilla on top. It's this gluten-loaded corn tortilla. And you fucking... Oh, fuck. And then you wait. And you wait. And you wait. Press it down for good measure. And then you flip it again. And then you wait, and then you wait, and then you wait. While that's in the work, here's a little history for you. Avocado. Avocado comes from the Spanish word aguacate, which comes from the Nahuatl word, which is the language that the Aztecs, that is an exonym, that's what the Spaniards call them. The, uh, they call themselves the Mexica. Wait a minute, Mexica. Oh shit. Anyway. Aguacate comes from aguacatl. The TL is a common thing. And the cool thing about the Nahuatl language is that they had a lot of agglutination. See, gluten is a good thing. In regular English, that means they you know, made a lot of compound words. They would get rid of that little suffix, TL, and then just stick it with other words. And they made apacamole. That's another suffix at the end. Sounds like guacamole. Well, shit, maybe that's because it is. So, if we translate that... Moli is sauce, and avocado, pam pam. <laughs> As you can tell, I am a life of the party. Fucking kickflips, man. Don't be afraid to experiment. You could put, you know, other stuff in there. You have tomato, you could fry it. Put some meat in there. Oh. Shit. Not even put any cheese. Why not? Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> Get busy, you fucking rascals. Don't burn down your house.